How's it going guys and back to our first episode on how to use Ajax. Now this first episode we're going to talk about what exactly Ajax is and why it's so good to know inside web development. Now Ajax stands for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML and it's basically a way for us to insert content inside our website from a database or a server without having to refresh the website each time. Now this is something that might not seem like anything special but when you have a website that needs to load in data from time to time Ajax is something that's really annoying not to have. Now this might not seem like a big deal if you're not used to including data from a database or a server, but when you have a website that has something like a chat system, you know, like the one you have on Facebook where you can write messages to each other, when you want to see a new message from another user, if they were to write you something, the ability to see the message instantly inside your browser when it just pops up in the bottom requires something like Ajax. Because without Ajax, if I were to see the message some person actually sent to me, I would have to refresh the browser each time I wanted to check if I got a new message. So when we load in data from a server or a database, which we can do using PHP, we can use Ajax to display the data immediately by only refreshing part of the page. So if I have a small chat box in the bottom of my screen here, and I receive a message, then that chat box is going to be the only thing that refreshes inside my website and it's going to do it by itself if we tell it to using Ajax. Now as you guys can see in front of me here I have an example to show you guys what exactly Ajax can do inside a website or at least a very basic example of what it can do and a couple of things to know before we actually click this button up here is that Ajax only works inside a server. So right now as you guys can see I do actually have two tabs up here. I have the one you guys can see here and I have an identical one that is in here. Now both of these have Ajax inside of it, inside the code, but only one of these are inside a server. So this website here is just inside a root folder inside my desktop, and the other one is inside a local server I installed using XAMPP. And you will in fact learn how to actually install XAMPP and how to get a local server up and running. It's very easy to do, but for now I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys what exactly Ajax can do. So inside the first tab here, I'm not inside a server, so we're to actually click the button, nothing happens. Now if I were to go to the second tab and click the button, you guys can see that I changed the text. So basically what I just did here is I went ahead and clicked the button and then I replaced the text with another piece of text that was inside a separate document inside my server. And I did all that without having to refresh the browser. Now this might not seem very impressive if you're not used to PHP and handling databases, but this feature here is actually something that's really needed when you want to get data from a database and put it inside a website. And again, I want to mention that you don't need to know PHP or about databases in order to use Ajax. It's just something that you can use together with PHP and databases in order to get data without having to refresh the browser from a database. I'm mentioning this because I know a lot of you guys will have a PHP background and you will be using Ajax for getting data from a database. So I just want to include this, but Ajax is not only for people who want to pull in data from a database, it's also for people who just want to get data from a server without having to refresh the browser. Now, when it comes to Ajax, there's actually two different types we can use. We can either use Ajax with JavaScript or jQuery. Now, because jQuery is the easiest one to learn, I'm gonna go ahead and start out the series by doing the jQuery way and then afterwards we're going to learn how to do it using JavaScript. So in the next episode we'll talk about how to actually do stuff using Ajax. So hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.